Post-harvest losses are a very important phenomenon affecting small-scale fisheries value chains all over the world. It is basically uh, the loss of fish once it's out of the water. A lot of the fish may be spoiled in the process of coming out of the water and reaching the market. Um, there are factors like time or temperature that negatively impact the quality of, of fish products because they're very highly perishable products. Um, the first impact is the physical loss, as I was saying, of the fish protein. We then also have um, economic damage because the fish that is lost cannot be sold in the market. Um, and last but not least, we also have an environmental impact of uh, post-harvest losses. Because the fish that is coming out of the water that is harvested, but that is not reaching the final consumer, obviously increases the pressure on the resource. The voluntary guidelines for securing sustainable small-scale fisheries in the context of food security and poverty eradication, very long title, um, have been endorsed by the FAO Committee on Fisheries in 2014. It's the first time that we have a dedicated international instrument for small-scale fisheries. We had negotiations and consultations with governments, with small-scale fishing communities, with regional organizations, with academia and research, with all other stakeholders. Uh, in small-scale fisheries to identify what is the content, what is the structure of these guidelines. And it was negotiated word by word and it was endorsed by the committee. These small-scale fisheries guidelines do not only look at the specific activities in relation to fisheries, they look at the whole value chain, so they also look at post-harvest activities, but even more important, they also look at related issues, because fisheries cannot be looked at in isolation. We need to look at how small-scale fisheries actors can be enabled to behave responsibly and that requires also uh, addressing social issues.